Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, we are going to be making the matching fillet heart pillow, uh, pillow, I was going to say case, but it's not really a case, it's a pillow cover, <laughs> for the Valentine's Day. I am so super happy with how this came out. I just think this is the cutest thing ever. So what we do is we work our one heart panel, and then we work two rounds of double crochet around and then we increase the bottom and increase the top and then we're done with the front and then we make our back panel which is just, just solid double crochets back and forth and then we stitch them together and it's just that simple uh oh knocked it over right there i weaved in an end and i kind of pulled it a little too tight and it's pulling that double crochet that's why there's a there's a little bit of a hole there Okay, so in the description box, I'm going to have a link for the matching blanket that goes with this, okay? All right, so let's talk about what we're going to need. Okay, so we are going to need a tape measure. Make sure it's cute. <laughs> Sorry. That was... Anyway, a pair of scissors. We're going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. A needle to weave in your ends. And this isn't 100% necessary, but I suggest it just to help you out, is a few a stitch markers. You're going to need several, I'm going to say, because what I used it for is uh, holding the outer seam, holding your uh, stitches together so you can stitch it shut. But actually, I think I should have just done that all the way around the pillows. Kind of easy. But anyway, get you some stitch markers. And then you're going to need two skeins of I Love This Yarn in the color Hot Orchid. Now make sure your dye lots match if you're using this yarn. Um, the only reason I say that is because I had a little bit of a dye lot emergency. And thank goodness I had, we had to run all the way to Hobby Lobby, which isn't like a hop, skip, and a jump away. We had to go all the way down there to get it. But they had one that matched. <laughs> okay, so... You can use any four weight yarn you choose. This is just the one I went with. Um, I would I'd just say, you know, make sure your dye lots match if your yarn has a dye lot. Okay, it's two skeins of those. And then I have a, sorry for the crinkles. I used a 16 inch pillow insert. Um, I don't remember if this came from Walmart or where this came from, but I love these pillows. And the reason being is because if you see this little picture, see the zipper on the side? I do a lot of baby blanket and um, baby blanket and baby pillow sets. And sometimes these pillows, like this one, is really stuffed. Now this one wasn't. This one didn't have hardly any polyfill in it, but this one has quite a bit. But what I like doing is I can unzip this zipper and pull some of that out because, I don't know, if you just, if you think about it, you know, a baby laying, like pretend my fist is a baby head and you lay it on that pillow, it almost like it just crunches the, the baby's head, you know, and it's like, I don't want them to lay like that. I want them to lay, you know, nice and neat, flat on the pillow. So that's why I get the, these so I can pull out some of that polyfill. And then I just put them in my polyfill bag for any amigurumi I do or uh, anything like that. And plus, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys on camera. These labels, can you see the, the holes from when it was sewn on there? It just makes it easier to rip that off. <laughs> Alright, so that is everything we are going to need to make our matching pillow. Don't forget this description box. I'm going to have the uh, blanket that goes with it. Okay. Now this, you can, you can adjust the size. Um, if you can't get a 16 inch pillow, all you got to do is we, we're going to work the center heart just like, you know, just like normal and then add rows to the sides and the bottom, you know, lay your heart in the middle of your pillow. Okay. And then, um, I, you know, add rounds around the heart until it gets not exactly on your side pillow, your side seams, 
but close. Don't work it at, don't work it seam to seam, okay? Because if you do that on both the front and the back panel, the uh, the case the cover is going to be really loose on your pillow, and we don't want that, okay? So don't work it exactly to the seams. Just a, come in a little bit, so then when we sew it together, it's going to give it a little bit of a pull, and it'll be tight and not floppy on your pillow. So, and then just the same concept with your back. Chain from not seam to seam, but almost seam to seam, and then double crochet into the third chain from hook, and then work rows, and work it to the same concept. Not exactly top to bottom seam, but come out in just a little, and then when we sew it together, it'll give, see how I just pinched, and you can't even tell that it moved? It'll give it a little bit of room, and it won't be floppy on your pillow. All right, get your stuff together, and let's get started, guys. Alrighty, to get started with our heart, we're going to need a chain of 48. And I've already gotten mine done off camera because I didn't, <laughs> didn't figure you guys want to watch me chain 48. But anyway, get your chain of 48 done and then come back here and we're going to start row 1. So to start row 1, we're going to double crochet into the third chain from our hook, okay? So not this one, not this one, but that one. The third chain. All right, and all we're going to do for row one is double crochet into all of the remaining chains. And we should have 47 double crochets with the beginning chain two. So te technically 48 stitches. All right, so you guys get your chain worked and come back with me and we're going to move on to, uh, about said round, row two. Okay, so I just double crocheted into that very last chain right there, and we have 47 double crochets with that beginning uh, chain two, okay? So to move on to row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work, and for uh, row two, we're going to double crochet right into that very first double crochet. Chain one, skip that next double, double into the next. Chain one, skip the next double, double into the next. And that's what we are going to repeat all the way down. Chain one, or, uh, well, yeah, chain one, skip the next double, double into the next. Chain one, skip the next double, double into the next. So repeat that all the way down, and I will meet you at the end. Okay, if you guys can hear that, that's my heater running. Um, I've come to the end of the row, and I have my double crochet left. And then right there is that beginning chain two. So I'm going to chain one, and we're going to skip that last double and double into the top of that beginning chain two. So right here is the back hump and the top loop, and I'm going to go right through both of those. I want both of them on or in my uh, double. And there we go. Oops. You should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 chain 1 spaces, okay? Alright, and we're going to move on to row 3 by chaining 1 and turning your work. And we are going to double into that very first double. Chain 1 double into the double. Chain one, double into the double. And we're going to repeat that all the way across for row three. So basically we're just creating another row of um, double crochets and chain ones. All right, so get your row three done and come back and we'll move on. Okay. Okay, so I just finished row three. Now I'm going to chain one and turn, and we still should have uh, the 23 chain one spaces. So now what we're going to do is chain or double crochet into that very first double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double. And we're going to repeat that until we get 11 chain one spaces. So right now we have two and we need to get to 11. So I'm going to let you guys do that off camera. And then when we, when we come back, we'll have 11 chain one spaces. Okay. So we'll be right back. 
Okay, so I have 11 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, now we're going to start the bottom of our heart, and we need a double crochet into that next chain one space, and then a double crochet into this next double. And that is the bottom of our heart. So it's going to start with three double crochets, and then we're going to increase from there. So now we start our chain one, double into the next double, and we're going to repeat that all the way to the end, and we should end with 11 double crochets again, just like the, the beginning. So we have the beginning of our heart, one, two, three chain ones. We need to work that all the way to the end, and we should have 11 by the time we get down here. Okay, so I'm coming to the end. I've got my 10 chain one spaces. So to finish, I'm going to chain one and double crochet into my very last double, which is a little turned. So if you just rotate your work, you'll see the top of that double. All right, so that is the end of row four. And we should have 11 chain one, three double crochets together. Not, not together, in a row, I should say. And then 11 chain one spaces. All right, now to move on to row five, we chain one and turn. And we are going to follow that same concept, but this time instead of 11 chain one spaces, we're going to take it down to 10. So to start, we double crochet into that very first double. Chain one, double into your dub next double. Chain one, double into your next double. So there's two. So repeat that until we get 10 chain one spaces. Okay, so now I have my 10 chain one spaces. So now I'm to my heart and we're gonna increase from three double crochet in a row to seven. Well, we already have one, so now we're gonna double crochet into that chain one space, double crochet into the next three doubles, double crochet into that chain one space, and then double crochet into your next double. And you should have three, six, seven double crochet. So now to finish the row, we do the same thing that we did when we start when, to start the row. Chain one, double crochet into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double. And oops, I got a hold of something. Repeat that to the end. And at the end, we should have our 10 chain one spaces. All right, so I'm gonna repeat that across and I'll meet you when we get to the end. Okay, so I repeated that across. Now I'm gonna, I, I have my 10 chain one spaces to end row five. So to move on to row six, we chain one and turn, and we're gonna follow that same concept, and then we're gonna uh, only have nine chain one spaces. So we double into that very first double. Chain one, double into your next double. There's one. Chain one, double into your next double, two. There's three, four, one, two, three, four, five. There's six, seven, eight, and nine. Double into that next double. All right, so there's my nine chain one spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna increase our heart again from seven to eight, nine, 10, 11. So there's one, now let's double into that next chain one space. Double across all these doubles. Should be seven of them right there. Double into that next chain one space, and then double into that next double. And now we just repeat the chain one, double into the next double, all the way to the end, and we should be end with the nine chain one spaces. So there's one, 
There's two, three. Okay, so just repeat that to the end. Okay, so that was the end of row six. To move on to row seven, we chain one and turn. And now we're gonna take our chain one spaces down to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna take it down to eight. So we double into our first, chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double. So repeat that till you get your eight chain one spaces. Okay, I have my eight chain one spaces. So now we're gonna increase our heart again. So we double into that next chain one space and then double across all these double crochets, double into your next chain one space, double into that next double. So we should have uh, 15 double crochets in a row right there. So I'm gonna get mine done and I'll be right back. Okay, I've double crocheted across all those doubles, double into the next chain one space, into the next double, and now we start our chain one double crochet into the next doubles until we have eight, which should go all the way to the end. So I'm going to chain one, double into that next double, chain one, double into the next double, chain one, double, and just repeat that till the end. I'm just about there. chain one and there's my last if I rotate that just a little bit there's my double double crochet into there and I should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight good okay speaking of eight to move on to row eight we chain one and turn and now we are going to take that chain one spaces down to uh, seven so we double crochet into that first double chain one Double into the next double, chain one, repeat that till we have seven. All right. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double, chain one, and double. So there should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now we're increasing our heart again. Let's see, we had, was it 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we're going to work the double into the chain one work a double all the way across here, a double into that chain, your next chain one, and into that next double. So I'm gonna get mine done and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished my double crochets across and now we're gonna finish with our seven chain one spaces, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. Okay, so chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double, and repeat until the ends to where we have seven chain one spaces. Oh, dang it. Okay, chain one and into my last uh, double crochet, which you gotta rotate just a little, right there, there's the top. And there we go. So that is the end of row, is it eight? Yeah, row eight. All right, so to move on to row nine, we're gonna follow the same concept, chain one and turn. And we are taking our chain one spaces down to six now. So double into that very first double, 
chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double. All right, chain one, double. Chain one, double. Chain one and double. Now we should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now we're gonna increase our heart again. Just get me some slack here. So we double crochet into that next chain one space and then double crochet across all those double crochets, double into that chain one and double into that next double. So I will get that done and I will meet you when we get done there. Okay, so I double crocheted across there and I've got a, a, a set of 23 double crochet and now we're gonna finish off the row with our, I can't, by the time I get here, I forget how many chain ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, right. Six chain one, so we chain one and we're gonna double into the next double, chain one, double into the next double, chain one, double into the next double, chain one. Can you guys guess what the next one is? Double into the next double. <laughs> chain one, double into the next double, chain one, and then rotate that last one just a tad to where you see the heart. Get it, the heart, heart afghan. And we're gonna double crochet into there, all right. So that is the end. What was that? Nine? Yeah, row nine. So we're going to move on to row 10. Chain one and turn your work. And now we're going to take six down to five. So we're going to double into that very first double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double chain one, double, chain one, double, that's four, so one more, there we go. All right, now we're gonna increase the heart again, so we're double into the chain one space, double across all these doubles, double into that chain one space, and then into your next double, and we should have I believe 27, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yeah, 27. Okay, let's get your double crochets done and come back. Okay, so I've double crocheted all across there and now we finish with our five chain one spaces. And I've got some tails right here. Just pretend you don't see those. <laughs> all right, so chain one and then we double into the next double. Chain one, double, chain one, double, chain one, double, and chain one into our last double. Rotate it just a little. There's the top of our heart and double into there. All right, so that was the end of row 10. So to move on to row 11, we chain one and turn. And now we're gonna take our one, two, three, four, five chain one spaces down to four. So double into that first double crochet, chain one, double into the next, chain one, double into the next, chain one, double into the next. That's three, chain one, and there's four. So now we, we're to our heart, to increase our heart. So now we chain one, or uh, double crochet into that chain one. And then double crochet across all those doubles. Double crochet into this chain one and into this double. And then I will meet you before we start our ending chain one spaces. Okay, so I've increased my heart. And you should have 31 double crochets. Sorry about that, guys. I was like, uh-oh, wait a second. But that's right, 31 double crochets. 
And now we are going to finish the row off with our four chain one spaces. So we chain one, double into that next double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double. Chain one and our very last double, rotate a little bit it's right there. All right. And that is the last row of increasing our heart. From now on out, we are just going to keep the space and then we're gonna decrease it. So to move on to row 12, we chain one and turn. Row 12 is an easy one. All we are going to do is double into that first double. We're gonna keep the same chain, Wait a minute. Sorry, I didn't mean to say keep the same. I meant we're gonna go down to three chain one spaces at the beginning instead of four. I was I was putting the cart in front of the horse. <laughs> I was getting ahead of myself. Okay, so we're gonna take the four down to three. So there's one chain one space. Chain one, there's two, chain one, and three. And now is the last row to increase our heart. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> now we're going to take it up to 35. So we're going to double crochet into that chain one space, double crochet into each of these doubles, double crochet into this chain one space, and double crochet into the next double. Okay? So get all those double crochets done, and I will meet you at the end of the doubles. Okay, now we are going to end the row with our three chain one spaces. So chain one, double into the next double, chain one, double, chain one, and we end with a double into that last double, and there we go. There. Now our heart is done increasing. Okay, so to move on to row 13, We are going to chain one and turn. And basically what we're going to do is work what we see in row 12. So we're going to we're have our uh, three chain one spaces. Double into each of our doubles. And then three chain one spaces. Now, I can't say we're going to repeat, oh, excuse me, repeat row two, because technically we're not. But all, what we're going to do is repeat the what is in row 12. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to move on because I don't want to confuse you guys. So we're going to double into that very first double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double, chain one, and double. So we have three chain one spaces, and now we're just going to double across all these doubles, and then I'll meet you back when we get to here. Okay, so to end row 13, we're going to end with our three chain one spaces. So chain one, double into your next double, chain one, double into the next, chain one, double into your last. All right, chain one and turn. And now row 14 is just going to be a repeat of row 13. So 12, 13, and 14 should all just be the same stitches, okay? So go ahead and repeat row 14, or uh, row 13, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished row 14, which was just the repeat of row uh, 13. So now we should have three rows that, ha that are just solid double crochets that we didn't increase or anything. And then you have the three chain one spaces at the beginning. All right, so let's move on to row 15, and we are going to chain one and turn, 
And row 15, we're still going to keep the three double crochet, uh, chain one spaces at the beginning. So double into that first double, chain one, skip your chain one, double into the first double, chain or next double, chain one, double into the next double, chain one, double into the next double. So there's our three chain one spaces. So now what we're going to start working on is the... Um, what do you call the, what do you call this on a heart? This. That's what we're going to start working on. I don't know what that's called, but <laughs> I'm not going to say what keeps coming to my mind. <laughs> All right. So to do that, we are going to work a double crochet into the next 16 double crochets. So we should have a total of 17 double crochets right here, okay? So work into 16 more doubles and I will be right back. Okay, so I double crocheted into the next 16 and I already had one here. So now I should have a row of 17 double crochet. And now we're gonna insert a little chain one space. So we're gonna chain one, skip that next double, double into the next double and now we just double into each double until the end of our heart which should be 17 double crochets okay I'm not gonna do that on camera go ahead and finish that and I'll meet you before we start our chain three Okay, so I've got those 17 double crochet, and now we're going to end with the chain one, uh, three chain one spaces. So chain one, double into that next double. Chain one, double into your next double. Chain one, and then we're going to double into that very last double, and if you just rotate it, right there is the top of that double. And we're going to double into that one. All right, so that is the end of row 15. So to move on to row 16, we are going to chain one, oops, chain one and turn. So for row 16, we're still going to keep our three chain one spaces at the beginning, okay? And we're going to start in this double crochet. The only difference is, is that we're going to take this middle chain one space up to three chain one spaces. All right, so I chained one and I'm gonna double into that very first double crochet. Chain one, double into the next. Chain one, double into the next. Chain one, double into the next. And now what we're gonna do is double crochet into the next 14 double crochets. So by the time you get your 14 doubles, we should have 15 because we already have one there. See it right there? And we should be two double crochet away from that chain one. So double crochet into the next 14 and I will meet you there. Alrighty, I did my 14 doubles and one was already there. So I have a row of 15. Now we're gonna increase that chain one space to three. So we're two double crochet away from that chain one space. So we chain one, skip the next double, double into the next. Chain one, skip your double or your chain one space, double into the next. Chain one, skip the next double, double into the next. So there are, is our three. And now we just double into each double until the end of our heart, which should be a total of 15 double crochets. All right, get that done, and I'll meet you before we start our uh, ending chain one, three chain one spaces. I'll be right back. Okay, I doubled into each double, and now we're going to end with our three chain one spaces. So chain one, double into your next double. Chain one, double into your next double. Chain one, and then double into that last double crochet. Right there. All right, so now we're gonna move on to row 17. 
chain one and turn. And row 17, we are going to start with four chain one spaces at the beginning now instead of three. So we're going to start decreasing this little chunk of our heart. So we double crochet into our very first double. Chain one, skip that chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, skip the next chain one, double into the next double. I got into something. Chain one, double into your next double. That's three, we need four. So chain one, skip the next double, double into the next double. And there is our beginning four chain one spaces. So now what we're going to do is double crochet into the next 10 double crochets. So we double crochet into the next 10. So that should put us two away from the that chain one space. And then we'll have a total of 11 double crochets because we've already got one here. So double into the next 10 and I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got my 11 double crochet done. And now what we're going to do is increase our three chain one spaces to five chain one spaces. So we chain one, skip that next double, double into the next double. Chain one, skip your chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, skip that next double, double into the next double. One, two, three, four, five. So there's our five chain one spaces. And now we're going to double crochet into the next 10 double crochets. Now remember, we're going to increase from three chain one spaces to four. So don't crochet, don't double all the way to the end of your heart. Just double into the next 10 double. Okay. We'll be right back. All right. So I have my 11 double crochet. So now I am two double crochet away from the end of my heart. I mean, like right there's the end of the heart. So we chain one, skip your next double, double into your last double. Chain one, double into the next double. I, I said last double. What I meant is that the last double of the heart right there. Okay. Chain one, double into your next double. Chain one, excuse me. And we're going to double crochet into that last double crochet right there. All right, that was the end of row 17. So we're gonna chain one and turn. And now we are going to start row 18. I knew I thought I saw something red in my yarn. Or orange, I should say. Where did you come from? Okay, so we are going to start row 18, which is the last row of our heart. So we are going to go from four chain one spaces to five. So we're going to double into the first. Oops, lost that. Chain one, double into your next double. 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 And then chain one, skip your next double, double into the next double. So that should be five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we are going to double into the next six double crochet. So that'll give us a row of seven double crochet together. Not together. Like, I mean, next to each other. So that's one, two, three, ooh. Four, five, and six, and we should be two away from that first chain space with a total of seven. So that's three, six, seven. All right, so now we're going to increase our chain th uh, three, chain one spaces from five to seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We're two away from that first chain one space. So we chain one, skip the next double, double into the next. Chain one, double into your next double. Gosh. 
Sorry about that, guys. That scared me. <laughs> okay, so chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into that next double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, skip that next double, double into the next double. And now we double crochet into the next six doubles. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oopsie daisy. All right, so now we're going to take our four chain one spaces up to five. So chain one, skip that next double, double into that next double. Chain one, double into your next double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, and double into your last double crochet. Okay. I want you guys to give yourself a little pat on the back because you just finished the heart portion. Now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat row um, two and three. And basically all we're going to do is work double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, all across the top. We're going to do that for two rows. So we just finished 18. So this is technically row 19. So we double into that first double. Chain one, or uh, chain one, double into the next double. Chain one, double into the next double. Chain one. So basically what we're doing on the first part is double crocheting into your double, chain one, double into the double. 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 And then chain one, double into the double and then when we get to the double crochets of the heart we're gonna chain one and then skip a double double into the next double so basically the heart portion don't forget to skip your double the chain one portion we we always skip the chain one so basically through these rows you're never gonna work a double crochet into the chain one it's always gonna be a double okay so chain one, double into your next double, chain one, double, chain one. I'm just going to go ahead and stay with you guys because I'm just about there. Making sure I work a chain one and then double into my double, chain one, I'm back to my heart. So now I chain one and I skip a double. Chain one, skip a double chain one i'm into the, the last double of my heart and now i'm back to the chain spaces so i just double into each double double into the double chain one double into the double chain one double into the double chain one and double into the last double okay so that was 19. so now we're gonna work row 20. So we chain one and turn, and we just repeat that double into the very first double crochet. Chain one, double into the double. Chain one, double into the double. So I'm going to let you guys repeat this across, and I will be right back as soon as I get done. Okay, so I just finished... Let's see, 18, 19. I just finished row 20. So that was my second row of double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. So now we are going to move on to the very last row of the, uh, uh, the little heart block, I'll say. <laughs> and all that is to chain one and turn. And we're going to work a double crochet into that first double. And a double crochet into the chain one. Double into your double. Darn it, get into the top of the double. 
and then double into the chain one. Double into the, to the next double. Double into the chain one. So now what we're doing is just double crocheting all the way across, okay? So get that done and come back. Okay, so I finished double crocheting all the way across here, and that was the end of 18, 19, 20, 21. That was the end of row 21. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start working around our square. So basically, this is going to be the center that sets on our pillow, and now we're going to work the outside of the square until it sets nice and neat on top of the pillow going from seam to seam, to seam, to seam on the pillow. Let me get the pillow and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I'm talking about is that this heart is gonna set right on the center of the pillow. And instead of increasing the heart, you know, just going up and up and up until the bottom meets this bottom seam, the heart wouldn't be in the middle of the pillow, right? So what we're gonna do is just work a square around the, the, um, the heart, okay? All right. So that was the end of row 19. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that guys. That was row 19, not 20, or row 22, not 19. I don't know why I said that. But anyway, so what we're gonna do now is start working around the square so it fits on our pillow. So we've got a double crochet into that very last double. So what we're gonna do is put one more double, chain two, and rotate your work in two more doubles. Okay, so now that corner has two double, chain two, two double. And now what we're gonna do is evenly space out double crochets down the side. Just make sure you don't bunch them up or you know street stretch really far to get um, a double. So I'm gonna go right into this little hole right there. I'm gonna double right there. Double around that double. Double into that hole. Double. Uh, let me see. Yeah, double right into the middle of that cluster. Just like that. See how it's nice and nice and even and it's not bunched up or it's not a real far stretch. Okay, double around that double. Double into that hole. Double in the middle. Uh. Okay. So we are just going to repeat that down the side and I'm going to go ahead and work mine off camera and when I get down here I'm going to tell you how many double crochets I have on the side. So we'll be right back. Okay, so so far I have 38 uh, double crochets down here. So I just counted the two double crochet into the corner and then all the way down and I've worked one double crochet into this uh, around this last double. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that my corner. So I'm going to work one more in there. Excuse me. Chain two. And I'm going to rotate. And go in there with two more doubles. Okay. Now I'm just going to work a double into each double across the bottom. So basically what I'm doing is... Um, let me find... So if you look, like right here's the bottom of a double, and it's into the chain right there. Here's the bottom of a double. Here's the chain. There's the bottom of the double. There's the chain. So what I'm going to do is work is just insert my hook right into the where the bottom of the double is. Because what this is, this is row one. So that we've rotated the square, all of our doubles are upside down now. So if you just yarn over and then just Put your hook right into where the bottom of that double is. What we're doing is doubling into the remaining chain loops from the chain. So 
just like that. Okay. All right, so work that double into the bottom of each double all the way across the bottom. And I'll meet you down here. Okay, so I've made it to that corner. I've got that double crochet worked into, and I've got one more to get into right there. So we are going to double into that. And now I'm going to go ahead and work my corner into the bottom of that double. I know there's a chain two right there, but I'm just going to go ahead and go into the bottom of the double. So I'm going to add one more. Chain two. I'm going to rotate my work. And add my two more doubles in there for my corner. Just like that. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm going to evenly space out. Uh, dang it, now I don't remember how many double crochet I told you I had over there. Was it 38? I better stop and count so I don't mess this up. We had 38, and then we added one more, so 39. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14... 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37, 38, 39. All right. So evenly space out uh, your double crochets. And I'm going to meet you before we get to uh, what we're going to create as our next corner, okay? All right. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it back around, and I've worked a double into the uh, same, like the same uh, top of the double crochet that this first one is of the last round. I double crocheted into there, so this double crochet right here, like here's the post of it, the top of it has the double on the side and then the very first one from the row, uh, is that the first one? Yeah, row 22. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to work one more double crochet into there, chain two, and I'm only going to work one, and then slip stitch to this first one. So there's our corner, okay? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, well, I guess I should start it. Chain one double crochet right back into that double and double crochet into each double and then into your chain two corners work your two double chain two two double double crochet all the way till you get to your corner work double uh two double chain two two double work that all the way around and then stop when you get to this next or the fourth chain to corner okay because what we're gonna do so like the pillow is more rectangular shaped than it is square so we're just about to a good width so what we're gonna do um, after the second round is start working on the length like the height needs to be taller all right so work that round and come right back Okay, so I've made it all the way around. I'm to that last, my fourth corner right here. Oops, a daisy. So I'm going to double and double, chain two, two double back in there. And slip stitch to that first double crochet. Okay, so and I know I was telling you guys, you know, the stitch count you should have on down each side. I, it, it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, as long as you can keep it consistent with each side. So like if I have 39 here and 40 here, it, it's not a big deal because the back panel that we're sewing this to for the, for the uh, back of the pillow, you're not going to be sewing into double crochets. You're sewing into the side. So it, it doesn't matter. Um, all right, I'm going to adjust my camera because I need to have a bunch of room to show you what we're doing, okay? So I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I think I got it set up good now. All right, so what we're going to do now. So I want you guys to take your pillow and I want you to lay it down and then lay your piece on top of it. What I don't want you to have is your, your side double crochets going right up to this seam. And then it shouldn't reach this seam. Like it should be a little bit of a stretch. So when we measure, or not measure, but put this heart right in the center of the pillow, whenever we go to sew the front panel to the back panel, it's going to give a little bit there. And what that's going to do is open up, I'm going to try to hold it. It's going to open up the um, filet, you know, making the heart stand out more. So it's going to have give on the sides. And we need to do the same thing with the top and the bottom, but we, we don't need to, um, make the, we don't need to expand on the, the length of the, or the width, I should say. That's the word I'm trying to say. It needs to stay the way it is. So what we're going to do, is only work on the top right now. So we're going to expand the length or the height a little bit. So get my hook. Get you guys back in here. All right. Okay, so we need to get back to this corner. So what I'm going to do is chain one and I'm going to turn my work and I'm just going to slip loosely slip stitch to that corner. Right into that corner. Okay. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn it back over. So now I'm to this corner and I can start working corner to corner, back and forth to get a little more height to cover the top of that pillow. So I'm going to work one double crochet into the chain, the chain two right there. And then I'm just going to go right over the top of that slip stitch into the dub, uh, the top of that double and work a double, the same thing into the next and the same thing. No, cause that's a chain one right there. So we'll go right into that next double crochet and then double crochet all along. So when we sew this together, it's going to have still a straight seam up this top just a little bit. We're probably going to work two, three rows maybe. All right, so double crochet all the way across and I'll meet you at this chain two space. Okay, so I've made it across and I've got um, a double crochet into that last double. So I'm just going to work one double into the chain two space. Chain one and turn. And now I'm just going to double crochet straight across. Double into each double. Oops. Okay, guys. So go ahead and work your double crochet straight across, and I'll meet you when we get to the end. Okay, so I double uh, went ahead and finished that row. I worked my last double crochet. Stop shaking. My last double crochet into that double, and now what I want you guys to do is take your pillow and lay this on there so that the heart is in the center, centered up and down and left and right. Uh, let me see if I can't adjust. All right, so whenever I have it centered on there, I'm not worried about this right now, but when I have this centered on here and I look and I think, all right, if I get one more double crochet row of double crochet on there, look how close I am to that seam, which is perfect. So leave it centered and come down and I add two more rows on here. It looks great. It comes, I don't want it right on that seam. I want it to be a little bit away from it. So if I pull my fingers over here, you can see how far away it's going to be. 
So that's what we want. So that means I need one more row of double crochet. So I am going to chain one, rotate, rotate, turn my work and just work that one more time. I'm going to double crochet into each double straight across and that should be good for this side. And then what I'll do or what we'll do is attach on the bottom, work two rows of double. No, it's three rows, isn't it? Yeah, three rows. And then we can work our back panel. And the back panel is super easy. All it's going to be is uh, a solid double crochets. Okay, I'm going to get this done and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it across. I've got the one more double that I need to work into. If you rotate that just a little bit, you can see that. And I'm going to double, chain one, pull up loop, and fasten off. All right. So there's the top. That looks great. So now I'm going to just rotate my work. And I want to keep it to where the double crochets we worked around are facing up. So I'm going to attach into the right corner. So that way it follows this, like it'll all be double crochets facing up and then uh, one row that'll be to the back and then one to the front and then we'll be done. All right. So I'm just going to get a slip knot on my hook. Attach into this corner with the slip stitch, chain one, pull that tight. I'm going to double crochet right back in there and then just get started double crocheting right across to that chain two corner. All right, guys. Double crochet all across, and I'll meet you when we get to the chain two. Okay, so I just finished double crocheting into each double, and now I'm to that chain two, so I'm going to work one double, chain one, and turn. And I'm going to work the double crochet into each double straight across. And I will see you guys when I get to the end. All right, be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back and I just finished and I double crocheted into each double. Double crocheted into that last one and that's five rows. So we're going to chain one, pull up a loop. Uh, I... I I mean five rows as in five rows total. We didn't just crochet five rows. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I didn't want to confuse you with that. <laughs> All right, so now what we are going to do is see how this looks on our pillow. So I'm going to center my heart. It's pretty close. And pretty close so once we sew this everything's got some give to it and it'll fit nice and nice and snug okay so set that to the side and we are going to work our back panel now I've already got mine done and it, this is really easy all it is is just a bunch of double crochets but what we're gonna do is we want to follow that same concept with our chain with uh the back of our the back panel right so we don't want a chain that's going to be long enough to go straight from seam to seam so you see how mine's just a little short on each side so what i did is chain 55 and the, and with my tension that is a perfect length to give uh for it to not go exactly seam to seam and it measures
16 inches. So chain 55 or a good a good length with your tension that's going to get you not exactly seam to seam but pretty close, okay? So that way, like like right now, I put my hand on it, my like the weight of my arms and my hands and run it to the side and you can see how much it just went over that seam. You see the seam at the top, my and it's way over the seam now on both sides. So we don't exactly want it seam to seam, just a tad bit short, okay? Enough that like if you chain and you give that chain a tug like that and pull it over, it almost, you know, wraps around the pillow. And you can, so that way you know, you know, how much give your piece is going to have. So what I did is just chain 55, put it on my pillow. No, it's not seam to seam. It's just a tad, like a tad bit short. And um, that's perfect. And then we'll double crochet into the third chain from hook, double into each double, or each chain, chain one, double into each double, chain one, double into each double, double, or chain one, double into each double. And what I did is the exact same concept with the width for the length. If I set this on my pillow, it's not exactly seam to seam, so it's going to have... A little bit of give on the top and on the bottom so then when we sew our pieces together they're nice and snug on the pillow and not you know floppy or flopping around on the pillow <laughs> so you guys get your back panel done I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 rows of double crochet. And this back panel measures 16 by 15. Okay? All right. Get your back piece panel or back. <laughs> get your back panel done and come back here and we are going to assemble. Okay guys, so once you get your back panel done, get all your ends weaved in, and I did that off camera already. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna lay our pieces right sides together. Get that out of the way. Right sides together, and then we're gonna stitch around three edges, flip it inside out, insert pillow, so shut, okay? So what I want is this back panel, I want the right side facing up. And I'm going to consider the right side to where row one, the double crochet is facing up, okay? And then for the heart panel, I want to where the double crochets around the heart are all facing up. So it should look like this. The last row on the bottom is backwards. And the second to last row on the top is backwards. So this is my front. So what I'm going to do is flip it right sides together. So the back is facing me of the heart panel. And then there's the back of the back panel. Now I am going to let you guys do what you want to do to stitch this shut. I prefer to do the slip stitch. Just It's just what I always do. And I'm just going to stick with what I do. You guys can... Um, Oops. You guys can, you know, sew it shut, single crochet it, slip stitch it. It doesn't matter. However you want to do it, I'm going to let you do it. But I am just going to start. So here's the top of my heart. And you know what? Make sure the top of the heart is to the top of your back panel too. So that looks good. And the, the top is just like the last row we did should be the back of the double crochet facing us. So row one is facing up the uh, last row is the back all right and that should be your top doesn't matter i just that's what i'm gonna do okay so i'm just gonna get my two corners well what we're gonna do is i'm gonna t attach into my bottom right slip stitch all the way across the bottom here get to this corner and then i'm gonna turn and slip stitch up this corner turn and slip stitch across the top and i'm gonna stop and then we're gonna flip it out and then go from there, okay? But I'm going to work all of that with you. I was just, I just wanted to tell you what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so however you're going to do it is fine. But I'm going to start with slip stitches. And I'm just going to find 
the very corner of this bottom, which is actually the chain two, the beginning chain two. So I'm going to go right into, I'm going to try into the uh, chain right before that first double right there. Because that's our first double, but we still have a beginning chain two. So here's a chain and there's chain two. So I'm going to go right into that chain. And then what do we got over here? Okay, we've got a double, but I've weaved in my end, so it's a little wonky looking. But I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to do back loops. I'm going to back loop slip stitch this close. So what that means, not a big deal on this bottom chain, on this bottom chain right here, because, you know, you're not going to see it anyway. But... What I'm doing is the double crochets that I'm working into, I'm only going into the back loops. So here's our heart, the top of our double crochet, the heart. I'm only going to go into these back loops. So that way when we flip it in, or flip it out, what that's going to leave is this, uh, this remaining loop and it's going to leave what looks like a ridge and it just looks pretty. All right. So... I got a slip knot on my hook. I'm going to grab a loop and pull through both loops and slip stitch and then just keep going. Make sure I'm only into my back loops. And with these chains, I'm basically what I'm doing is the same thing we did earlier. I'm just inserting my hook right to where the bottom of those double crochets are and catching the remaining loops of that chain. So just, I see the bottom of the legs of my double crochet right there, and I'm just going to insert my hook, and it goes right through those remaining chain loops. All right, so we're going to slip stitch, or however you're going to do it, all the way across the bottom, and I will meet you when we get to this corner. Okay, so I've slip stitch into each stitch straight across here, and I'm coming to, I've got one more to go into, yeah, just making sure that's right. I got one more to go into. So I am going to go right in there. And this last one I weaved in an end into, so it's a little hard to see what it is. So I'm just going to go where I can get my hook. I'm going to slip stitch. I'm going to do another slip stitch in there. And I'm just going to start going down the side. Getting slip stitches where I can get them. Okay, so that makes my turn. I just work two into one stitch, and that makes a, a corner right there. So now what we're doing is slip stitching up this side. And I still have double crochets on this. So that right on this side, I'm going to work into my back loops only. And on this side, I'm just going to go wherever I can get it. That's going to be consistent with the double crochets. Does that make sense? So like, I'm not going to go stitch for stitch on this side because, you know, you don't have a stitch to go into, but on this side we do. So I'm just going to go into each stitch up on the heart panel. Okay. So go ahead and work up this side and I'll meet you at this corner. Okay. I wanted to jump back on here to show you guys so if you can see, my heart panel is coming out a lot bigger than my, um, or a lot longer, I should say, than my solid back panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop, and I'm going to stretch out this back panel, and then I'm going to lay down the heart panel on top of it, and I can see that I need to skip some stitches of the heart panel. So I'm going to go into my back panel, skip the next one of my heart. Oops, dang it. Into my back. And I'm going to skip that next one on my heart. Go into the back. And I'm just going through stitches anywhere. I'm going to skip the next stitch of the heart. Skip that one. Okay, it's getting closer. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to go into my back panel, skip the one on my heart. Back panel, skip the one on my heart. Go into the next. 
and it's coming out a little bit better I'm gonna do that one more time go into my back skip the next one on my heart which is a chain I'm into that's all right okay now that's better so now I'm just gonna go through both of them and I actually don't have stitches to work into anymore I'm just going through parts of the heart now I'm to the corner so on this top we have tops of double crochet on each side so I'm gonna go right into the first double crochet on both sides um, I'm gonna do the back loops and I'm gonna work two half doubles or two half doubles what the heck two slip stitches and now I'm gonna rotate and now we're gonna work back loops so back loop back loop on both these panels so I'm gonna show you this one more time so the back loop on the top back loop on the bottom so it'll be this loop and this loop okay if you're choosing to do that you guys you definitely do not have to do that but this should go stitch for stitch across the top okay alrighty I'm gonna get going on this and I'll be right back okay so I'm coming to the end I've got a few more on each side to work into so I am just going to finish this up real quick and this last one I have on my um, back panel I weaved in an end so it's a little wonky looking and that is a chain so I'm just gonna go right into there slip stitch do another slip stitch so our corner is ready and now I'm gonna pull up a big loop because we are going to flip it inside out now you guys can see that your corners poked out see that pretty ridge it leaves when you uh, slip stitch into the back loop okay so get all the corners poked out all right now I'm gonna insert the pillow oh, that's a perfect fit yes yay yay all right let me adjust my camera so you guys can see <laughs> i'm so happy i love it okay so now the only thing we have left to do is stitch the pillow shut which I, this is a little bit of a pain in the butt to do but all I'm going to do is get that in there. I'm going to push that tail in there. Nobody will see it. <laughs> Actually. To help it stay, I am just going to put some stitch markers in it. And also... This will help with keeping it stitch for stitch. You don't need this many. I'm just doing it because I pulled that many out. <laughs> okay. Let me get you guys back down. All right. So right here we have the corner that we just worked. And all I'm going to do is just 
uh, start slip stitching. This is so hard to try to do on camera. Turn this over. Like I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pretend that I am not a, in the inside. I'm just gonna grab my two pieces and start slip stitching. And I'm gonna keep doing it in the. Uh, well, I'm gonna do the back end loop, the front loop now, so that leaves the ridge on the side like it is on the other side. So that means. when we get to the double crochets, it'll be the stitch, I mean the loop to the inside, okay? I'm gonna slip stitch through that so then it'll leave that ridge, all right? Okay, so just slip stitch along all the way down and I will meet you guys when we get to this last corner, okay? It's so pretty, I'm so happy. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tip. I actually, whenever I'm working this, it is really hard to do to hold and slip stitch that sh shut. So what I do is I put a chair in front of me, like I have the, one of those uh, card table folding chairs. I just set that in front of me and then set the pillow on that and then I can slip stitch it shut easier. But anyway, I am coming to the end. I'm gonna take out that last stitch marker. And then I'm just gonna go where my hook will go. I go right into that corner. Slip stitch. I'm gonna do another one. Oops, that's a single. Slip stitch. All right, chain one, pull up a loop, and cut. Ah! Oh! <laughs> All right, before I look at it, I'm going to get this end weaved in. And I'm going to be a little bit of a cheat. I'm just going to run it into my back panel. Come out. I'm just going to cut it so it pops right back inside and nobody can see it. Okay, let's look at it. <laughs> it's so pretty yay I love it I can tell right there I weaved in an end and I pulled it a little too tight can I fix that yeah I think did that fix it oh so happy you guys I think this is absolutely adorable I love this collection and I got it out so fast that's what makes me happy too okay guys I'm gonna leave it here uh thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what's next from me leave me a comment let me know what you guys think and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed um I am so super happy I, I love this um I lost my train of thought <laughs> In the description box, I got links down there for you guys for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media platform you guys choose to use. Uh, follow me on those. And then if you make anything, tag me and show me that nothing makes me happier than seeing that. Uh, and that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.